Welcome to this tutorial about SOAP web services. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a SOAP web service. And uh, in this one, I will be showing you how to consume that web service in Mule runtime, uh, which is also pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, so here you can see that uh, my web service is running on this port uh, uh, at and then this is the visual file for that and when I do, do, do this and I can see the visual file so what I have done is uh, just uh, copy this web, uh, visual file on and since it's running on the local host uh, I had to copy it and put it uh, as hello world visual file in my client uh, POC so I just copied it here uh, just for the sake of uh, easy use so now let's uh, create one uh, uh, consumer or a client for this web service so what I have to do is uh, uh, I want to call this web service uh, from one HTTP port so let's drag one HTTP endpoint if you have a Java or something then you can directly call it but uh, since I want to use it to show here easily so I'm just creating this and uh, let's name it uh, soap client and then what I have to do is go to web service consumer so here you see this is a web service consumer just drag it here and then we have to create a connector configuration let's click on add and here we have to select a visual location so since my service is running on localhost I cannot give uh, HTTP localhost and all those things but if it's a actual uh, web service running on um, some server you can give that server URI here and uh, then directly from there it will get all this service port and addresses so let me add here if I click here so as you see I have added it on main visual location uh, so it shows hello world digital let me select this and once I check click outside it will directly get all the information from that visual file uh, like service name port and uh, uh, the address of service let's click OK and then in the operation I have to select what kind of operation I want to do so there are various uh, methods uh, which my service support so let's select say hi which is the simplest one and uh, as I showed you in previous uh, uh, tutorial if I go to this uh, service I, okay. so this is the interface which does so here you see say hi so these are the names which are shown there uh, which is also part of my visual file which is created based on this so let's go back here and say hi so just to see what it does uh, let's drag one uh, data weave so this will also give you an example of how to <coughs> sorry how to use data weave so if I drag and drop data weave here it will automatically do data sense and get what kind of uh, arguments my web service operation is taking because I am calling say hi it takes only one argument I can put anything here so let's uh, create one uh, define one metadata so whatever payload we will be sending we will be setting it as a argument here so let's define one metadata and uh, our metadata if you have not created you can add something new let's create new just for this so, so input payload and let's create type let's call it simple string or we will be sending simple string we create this and then it's this one and we just have to drag and drop it here so it will automatically create uh, this data wave uh, will automatically create what kind of uh, uh, input you have to send to say higher operation so if I change the operation here my arguments will also change so which is pretty simple 
now let's uh, drag and drop one more after this so it will again create what kind of uh, return is coming and we can set it here right so let's define uh, one payload let's say this is also uh, we can create another as an output payload uh, which is also string but uh, if you select this also that will also work so let's keep it separate output payload let's say this is also string type it's simple and string we give here and then we drag and drop so here it will automatically write you payload dot ns0 say hi response and then return so done very easy let's do a logger we can see output in uh, postman or somewhere but uh, just for the sake of simplicity i'm putting here also and then we do this uh, let's print payload here let's save it and uh, since i'm running both of them uh, like client and uh, service in the same project <clears throat> i don't want to run them separately so i have created one domain project and uh, added uh, both the projects into my domain like so poc domain and when i run and when i go to my run configuration in my run configuration i have soap service poc and i selected domain and both the projects here and then i do run let's start postman So behind you can see my both the projects are starting client as well as uh, the server so uh, web service server okay so once it starts so as you know we have this uh, http localhost and then it was name was so client and let's send one data as Harish and see here you can see both client is uh, deployed and service is deployed and let's send this here it executed <coughs> and below is the response Hello Harish, welcome to my web service, which is the implementation of my web service. So here you see the payload uh, is sent to this uh, web service and it added that here in the response and sent me one response. So which is pretty simple and I, I can send anything maybe I can send um, Superman of the world. So it will add so you can just to show you that hello superman of the world welcome to my web service so which is pretty simple so if i just go and change here what kind of operation i have to do based on that operation i may have to make some changes to transform message here and here and what kind of response because you know, the arguments of the service differ so i may have to do send send some custom objects uh, create some custom objects and send them there so which is that's it it's, it's pretty simple and uh, i can actually show you how to send custom objects like this i have one uh, um, okay let me rename it mm. If I go here, I have created uh, consumers for different web service. So multi input custom is this. What is my interface which takes uh, multi input custom? So this is the correct one. 
and if you see my transform message I am sending argument argument to and uh, here you see I am not getting any custom Java object so it's basically still Java object are uh, um, are simply at the end become string or uh, integer or something so I just transform it based on that so here so which is pretty simple I hope it gave you good explanation how to consume soap web service thank you for watching do like and share thank you bye bye